for some, feel some VTEC? Yeah. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's J-Rod, I got another car to show you guys. Um, this car I actually bought a while back when we weren't really doing the YouTube thing. You know, I had this channel a couple years ago. We did some content, did pretty well. As life happens, I got lazy. Um, didn't have a, you know, a camera guy, didn't have an editor, and I have so much going on with my life. Now that we got Trevor, we're able to bring you all these projects. This car I actually bought for Jay, Jay of Real Street, Real Street Jay, uh, my mentor, really good friend of mine. Um, we've done car stuff for the last 10 years. Um, he said, hey, look, take a look out for like a late 90s, early 2000s Integra, or maybe a Honda Civic, uh, SI, something along those lines. Um, something clean, manual transmission, I just need a daily driver. I was like, okay. Um, a buddy of mine that I've known for, I don't know, 10 years, uh, a guy that I knew through the car scene, Vincent, reached out to me and goes, hey, I know where there's a 2001 GSR Integra setting at a storage unit. It's been there for seven, eight years. Um, it needed rings. <laughs> Um, long story short, I went and looked at it. Jay said he wanted it. We bought it, set the car here at the house. You know, six, eight, 10 months went by. Jay uh, was in a different position. He's like, hey, I'll take the car, but he goes, I think you should get it running and you enjoy it. You've never owned a Honda. I was like, man, I'm not a Honda guy. But I saw the car and I'm thinking to myself, man, if I'm gonna amass this 90s, 2000 car collection, especially being an import guy, it doesn't get more 90s than a B series Honda. So, I have a really good friend named Richard who's the master tech at the dealer group I work for, uh, Bob Howard at our Honda store. So I reached out to Richard, um, we came up a you know, deal, I dropped the car off with him, we pulled the motor apart, not good. It wasn't just rings, it wouldn't even turn over. Like it rotated and just locked up. Come to find out, had a spun rod bearing. Um, so motor was locked up, we didn't know the condition of it. The car was clean body wise, interior's in really good shape. So. At the time, I was like, I'm just going to rebuild this 100% virgin stock. Um, we put a, you know, brand new crank and rods and brand new OEM parts throughout because I wasn't going to make power. Of course, we know how that goes. Uh, when I bought this car, it had an old school Jackson Racing Supercharger in the trunk um, that I really didn't ever plan to use. Here we are a year later and it's on the car. Uh, when I got the car, it was super fun, even stock. I don't know what this thing made stock. I'm guessing 160, 170 horsepower of the tire. It revved freely, manual transmission, light and nimble. It was a really fun car. Um, and at, by this point, me and Jay had already came to the conclusion I'm keeping the car. So, you know, I wanted a Type R because it's like the pinnacle of this platform. This is a 2001, so it's the last year they built it. I just didn't want to spend Type R money. So I got with Alex up at Humble Performance and we came up with a plan. Um, we did wheels, uh, suspension, and I gave the blower to him and he sent it off, had it redone, yada, 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 got it installed in the car, reached out to our friends at Deechworks. We got a fuel pump, set of fuel injectors in it. Uh, we put a Honda ECU in it, a clutch. Thanks for having me. Thanks for building me this badass car. Um, obviously old school Jackson Racing Supercharger, very clean setup. Um, so obviously you guys went in and put the valve train and the cams in, you guys got the manifold put on, the Jackson Racing blower, yeah. fab the little intake up for it, super clean. Yeah, we just did like a little intake there with the velocity stack, put the filter just to prevent from anything going in. Uh, we put the, the new uh, uh, supercharger belt uh, system. Yeah, because we were trying to keep it aligned where we were having problems with like the belt and stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And the new BC cam gears look nice. Yeah, we got the cam gears, we got the header on. I mean, it's just a basic setup, but I mean, for as it is stock motor and then with the, this older technology supercharger i mean it's just like a fun setup and yeah now, now compared to the first time you can really hear the supercharger oh i, I bet it whines hard way. yeah yeah i, I think we're, we're maxing it out right now oh uh, yeah <laughs> i'm i'll be really surprised if we don't break that supercharger as hard as we're spinning it <laughs> you know i was thinking about that if i end up blowing this supercharger up i'm not going to rebuild it i'm probably going to put yeah. a small turbo on this yeah. thing yeah i would say like right, what i was showing you in there I'm a turbo guy. I mean, uh, you know, a decent turbo setup or even like a Kraftworks. I mean, the Kraftworks are, are fun. Even that I'm a turbo guy, like for for like what this car would be used for, that's mostly like street and right. some track and then racing and stuff. Uh, the Kraftworks is very impressive of how quick it comes and how it holds like the power band. The power and the, and the torque is just like straight lines. Yeah, it's more of a modern setup where this Jackson Racing thing is probably over 20 years old. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it, it, I think a lot of it's just it brings you back a lot of memories. Yep, it brings 100%. you back to where, where you first started. And yep, that's I how know. I am, man. I'm getting to that point. I'm going to be 40 this year, so I just like 
I feel like I'm trying to relive my high school and early college years, you know, and that's why I've kind of acquired all these weird early 90 or late 90s, early 2000s cars. And I don't know. I guess that's what happens when you get yeah, old. You're you're saying, oh, I'm fixing to hit 40. I know. Like older, I know. I, I, I'm fixing to hit uh, 48. Oh, man. <laughs> this year. Age is a number. Age yeah. is a number. Yeah. Uh, that's what I was saying. At least the car is like, this is what keeps me young. And I know all of us, it just uh, definitely helps out. No, 100%. I, I don't feel my age, but sometimes no. when you start seeing the gray hairs, it starts to look Yeah, like or no age. hair, like me. Oh, I don't have any hair either. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> well, awesome, brother. Well, thank you for your work, and I'm sure we'll see you again. And uh, Thanks for everything, brother. Appreciate you bringing it to us and trusting us. And, yeah. Uh, you know, what? We'll see where this takes us, and then if we got to upgrade, we're here to help you yeah, out. Yeah, maybe put a big intercooler up there and yeah, put us. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm really happy with this car. We're going to go out, and I'm going to go f Sean up tonight. <laughs> Just a clean 2001 Integra. And I know the Honda Purist guys are like, oh, it's not a Type R, and it's got a Type R sticker. I know. I don't care. I like the stickers. It reminds me of that era, and it's my car. I'm going to do what I want with it. So we did the Type R spoiler, the front spoiler, Type R rear spoiler, um, some wheels, Type R badging, uh, all OE stuff. And as you see, it's got some gnarly gappage right here, right? It drives me nuts, but here's why. <laughs> me not knowing Hondas, when I acquired this car, it had Honda Prelude tail lights in it. Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> they were like Alteza. So I started looking at pictures and I'm like, man, something's not right with this car. I want to put OE tail lights back in it. Found a set of OE tail lights, went to put them in. Yeah, the name wasn't not going to work. Nowhere close. I don't know. So, like, obviously there's been some going on here but from the pictures i looked online this little area seems to be narrower on a few of the cars but i don't know but these are like oe tail lights but maybe you just need to replace this piece and they don't fit from do i need to just replace that upper trim so i reached out to my buddy brian who does all my uh paint and body work and so when he got into it this thing had been hacked. I mean, hacked, hacked. But during the era of this car, people did stuff like that. They did tail light swaps. You know, I remember seeing Supra tail lights on Chevy trucks and Skyline tail lights on Maximas and all kinds of crazy stuff. So someone literally put a set of Prelude tail lights. I'll attach the picture in this video. But anyway, so Brian had to rebuild all of this. And obviously, this didn't get lined up properly. Not in his fault because the body was just so hacked. We had to get this new piece here. We had to get a new trunk because they had cut into the trunk. So pretty much the whole rear of this car um, has been replaced back with OE Integra parts. Um, and we did OE badging on it, but it's not a perfect car, but it's a really fun driver that makes really good power. And I really, really enjoy the car. Let me show you the interior. I mean, it's, it's pretty damn clean. And I know, I know enough about these cars to know that the Type R didn't come with leather. They had like a suede Alcantara. The Type R did not have a sunroof. The Type R was a five lug wheel. The Type R didn't have body side molding. The Type R's tack went like 8,400 or whatever. And I know it's not a Type R, but it runs better than a stock Type R. Uh, it makes a lot more power. It's still the B18C5, I believe is the motor code on this. But since it's the GSR, it's got the nicer interior in it. And being an 01, I think like the steering wheel may be a little bit revised and some small things like that, but yeah. Streets closed, pizza boy. Uh, Find another way home. The belt's slipping bad. Really? If we keep fucking with it, it's gonna spin off. That's like, we gotta put that in the video. That's like some Oklahoma shit. Yeah, so last time we tried to do this video, um, as I kind of figured we were gonna have some belt issues and we had belt issues on the way home. It just completely spun the belt off. So we've got a new belt and uh, we got a little bit tighter. We're still trying to figure out all the belt stuff with this blower, but it's making boost. And I know it's making it. We'll just see how long it makes it. So we're gonna do some reps for you guys. Then we got the old trusty uh, camera car, the old square body with six inches of lift on 37s. I mean, that's how we do it in Oklahoma, with someone hanging around in the back drinking cold beer. 1988 all over again. You ready for some? Feel some VTEC? but it was it was there and uh, we were spinning through third gear this freaking car is a riot when it makes boost yeah 
I feel like every video that you've you watched in like the early 2000s where the guy's like, boom, boom, and it just wheel hops like a crazy. Yeah, that's what just happened. But like from a 40, it don't. It spins a little. 40 puts us at like 4,500. So if you're like gonna be honking it off with the guy. All you hear is the blower now. You don't hear from the belt. Yeah, Humble killed it on this car, man. You know, we, we built this motor and we put a clutch and they did the exhaust and supercharger install and Alex tuned it on the Honda on the E85. Like, it's not gonna set the world on fire. You're not gonna go out in today's world and win a bunch of races with this car. 300 horsepower just doesn't do it, even in a 2,600 pound car. But it's not why I built this car. I built this car for nostalgia. Like, this car 20 years ago was fast as shit like a 300 horsepower front wheel drive, 2,400 pound, five speed Integra, it would catch all the 5.0 Mustangs, all the LS1 cars. Oh, I mean, you just, you wouldn't think, oh, it's a Honda, I don't care. Go, just go ahead and go. Well, you ain't catching them. Like, I cannot wait to race some, you know, 400 horsepower F bodies or something in this car from a roll. From a dead stop, zero chance of going anywhere. From a roll, it's pretty spicy. How'd that sound? Oh, he's just pulling me around the road. And plus the road's kind of crowned, so it makes it worse. If you want to turn around, we'll go back that way. Kind of the perk of living out in the middle of nowhere. You get roads like this to do what you want. 100%. It's heat soaked now, so it's probably gonna feel a little slower. But man, it's still a blast. all day oh my god it's so fun like i said you know the other day when we were filming hondas was never my thing i never got it i get it i get it now this is fun it's it's exhilarating it's it's driving a car you know you have to you have to drive this thing it's going to pull you around the road you got to shift it and watch the tack and we were slapping 8600 rpm right there and now that we put those BC Stage 2 cams in it, it just makes so much more power, six, seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 RPMs. And, you know, I wanted to rev this car to 9,500. Alex, it wasn't that the motor wouldn't hold it. <laughs> we were probably spinning this supercharger several thousands and thousands of RPMs too far. So he's like, man, we rev this to nine, the, the, the rotor speed's gonna get out of control. So we kept it at 8,500, 8,600. Um, and it's fine. This, like I said, I'm not trying to go out and win races. But if the blower continues to plague us with belt issues, it's coming off. We're going to put a turbo on it. But I hope it doesn't because I love the instant power of this thing. I mean, here we are at 50 at 4,500, and you just hit it, and it goes. Ah, oh, it's so fun. Put a smile on my face. And we didn't blow a belt off. And like one of my favorite things to do in these little light cars is uh, you can like go into corners and then you can just heat brake kernel. <laughs> First gear, what's traction? open diff trans because this is a stock GSR trans you know I'm probably gonna end up having to put an LSD in this thing if I keep beating the shit out of it like this but man I want to drive this car every day and just beat the brakes off of it I spun literally the entire first year oh in all second that's crazy yeah it's it's so fun This car is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoying the channel. And thanks for all the new love on the channel. We've got several thousand new subscribers just in the last couple of days, um, you know, due to our 03 Cobra video. And if you guys uh, like what you're seeing, like the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and like because we got a lot more cars we haven't showed you. So thank you guys.